Yep. And Big Bend National Park is entering its peak season for hiking from now until April. So if you're planning on visiting and hiking those trails, it's important to just be prepared in order to stay safe. Tyler Dubman with us tonight in studio and Tyler hiking is fun, but can, this can also be pretty dangerous here too. Huh? Yeah, that's right, Alex. People often don't realize how difficult it really can be. Uh, Lost Mine Trail is one of um, the more, one of the more popular trails at Big Bend, but before you hike it or any other trails, being proactive is paramount. When hiking, you just don't bite off more than you can chew. Preparation is everything. Talk to someone, have a good plan, and have an appropriate route in mind before you just, you know, head out into the, into the trail. Tom Vandenberg is chief of interpretation and visitor services at Big Bend National Park. While there are hiking guidelines and regulations in place, the hike really starts with planning. It's good to know where you're going. Have a plan. You know, we always recommend people. When they come to Big Bend National Park or if you go to any of your other public lands in Texas, you know, talk to one of the rangers there, talk to someone that knows the area and tell them what you're interested in. And, and you know, together you'll be able to figure out an itinerary that makes sense. Before your hike begins, communication is key. Make sure that someone knows where you're going and uh, when you expect to be back and make arrangements to talk to them when you get back. So if they don't hear from you, then they could call the authorities and we could initiate some sort of search activity. I think that's really important. When it comes to equipment, GPS units and satellite phones are a couple of items to bring on the trail. A lot of people nowadays also have the little, uh, little in-reach devices, which basically kind of connects you via satellite um, to GPS. And you can even, uh, certain models of those allow you to send texts and things even in places where there is no cell service. And if you do hit the trails for some hiking, it might be best to keep it simple. That's one reason people get into trouble. They're just, they just try to do a much too long trail, much too difficult trail, maybe on their first visit. So, you know, take your time, slow down, enjoy your, enjoy your time with your family and friends in this really special place, and don't try to do too much all at once. Now, Vandenberg told me that bringing a flashlight and a first aid kit on your hike are essential as well. He added that if you do get lost on a trail, stay in that location and wait for help to arrive.